Are you or someone in your life having trouble getting a good night's sleep? It may be due to something called obstructive sleep apnea, and it could lead to a number of serious health problems. Many people who have been diagnosed often use CPAP machines like this, and as you can imagine, it makes sleeping difficult as well. But there is an alternative, and our sponsor, the Dental Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring, may be able to help. We want to welcome Dr. Earl Bogro, who has practiced, who has a practice and dedicated to oral appliance therapy and is also a professor at the University of Michigan Dental School. Now, you are a dentist. Why did you decide to, you know, dedicate your practice to treating this disorder? Well, I've been a general dentist for over 40 years. I got involved with this because I personally, about 12 years ago, was diagnosed with sleep apnea. My wife had noticed I was snoring more. I was waking up several times during the night. She would point out that sometimes I would actually stop breathing and I'd be coming home from work more and more exhausted. So finally, reluctantly, I mentioned to my doctor at a physical, so what are you doing? He says, let's give you a sleep test. At that time, I used to think that the only people that got sleep apnea were people who had, who weighed 300 pounds in a 20 inch neck. Well, I weigh 165, I run marathons, I bike thousands of miles. I'm thinking, okay, I'll have the sleep test. And sure enough, I found out I had sleep apnea. So and, what and, is obstructive sleep apnea and what are the dangers associated with it? Because I, like you described, if you're running marathons and you're fit and healthy, then what is it exactly? Well, all sleep apnea, all it is, is a closure of our airway when we sleep. Hmm. When we're up during the day, we can breathe through our nose, we breathe through our mouth. The way we're built, gravity flows down. We don't snore during the day. We don't stop breathing during the day. But at night when we go to sleep, everything changes. One of the first things that typically happens with many people, our lower jaw drops back, our tongue drops back. And, and all of a sudden that space gets smaller and smaller until it gets to the point where the airway starts to flutter and it starts snoring. But the next step is the more serious step. And then the airway shuts down and then it closes. And then our bodies respond by, by this gasp or this cough. Mm. And then it's a jump start to the heart. So it, it, it cascades. And the prevalence of sleep apnea, the correlation of sleep apnea and heart problems, sleep apnea and diabetes, wow. sleep apnea yeah. and strokes, wow. it all comes wow. to be. So then what are, you know, what kind of alternatives are available to the CPAP machines that we just saw? Because this is serious. There's four things you can do. One, you can do nothing. Many people do nothing, but they're, they're at risk of all these health issues. The second thing is a CPAP, which you showed. The biggest problem with the CPAP is the CPAP is compliance. Statistically, about 50% of people who get a CPAP can't use them because it's, it's, a, it's hard to wear. The third is surgery, which nobody wants to have. And the fourth is by making a custom dental mouthpiece that guides your jaw forward. And that's what I do. I am, I am certified by the Board of Dental Sleep Medicine, and I dedicate my practice to this because this works so successfully for me and now so successfully for so many of my patients. I used to say I, used to say I love helping people save their teeth. Now I say I love helping people save their lives and their relationships. Wow. And saving their sleep life because you need to sleep to do everything. That looks really cool. It looks very simple, almost like kind of like aligners that you might wear in your, in your teeth when you want to straighten them. And I also want to bring out that this is a dental solution to a medical problem. So it's covered by medical insurance, Excellent. not dental insurance. So that's why it's important to get. And the only way to get this done is to have a sleep test and have a letter of medical necessity from a sleep physician. I work with the doctors, and, and this is a great alternative for many people. Indeed, and I have heard that those CPAP machines are very difficult. So thank you for sharing this great information with us this morning, doctor. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Bogro, call 248-827-1144. Again, that number is 248 8271144 and to see all the services he provides visit his website michigansleepapneacenter.com